today I have uh, somewhat of a different test here for you guys and what we are going what I'm going to do today I'm going to see which browser between Microsoft Edge Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome is the best streaming uh, browser like it and and also the one that you uses sort of conserve resources uh, let me, and I'm going to be doing this uh, playing video first of all I'm going to play each one uh, one by one so I'm gonna start with um, uh, the, the beginning of uh, HD which is 720 then we'll move on to the F full HD, FHD which is 1080p then we move on to quad HD uh, 1440 and then lastly we'll move on to the two ultra HD which is uh, 4k and then lastly it will be 8k so and then when I'm done with this I'm going to keep open all the tabs in all the browser then I will play and load uh, uh, all the tab at the same time in all the browser playing those different uh, resolution video on YouTube. So the the videos are not mine. I've just uh, decided to randomly select some or some I just uh, decided to select some uh, some of the content that are uh, guys that I do follow on YouTube depending who's offering whatever resol resolution and then it's on I'm gonna just but it's going to be the same video in on both browser whether when it's 720 it's same video on all browser 1080 same video 1440 same video resolution uh, uh 4k 2160 same uh, res uh same video and uh 43 20 the 8k same video it's going to be the same video because this way i don't want to be i feel there won't be like a any disparity like a, maybe one video is what so i'm going to be playing the exact same video of all resolution in all browsers okay i do hope uh uh we get to learn something uh and I'm very excited. So be, without wasting any more time, I'm going to open uh, the... Now recently I made a video on I'm the channel to called... I'm muting this. I'm going to be opening up all this... Uh, the... Now recently I made a video on the channel... Uh, I'm going to start with the... Now recently... With uh, 720, I'm going to be making sure that it's playing with 720. I'm going to be setting that resolution myself, 720. I couldn't get a video that's only 720, so uh, I just decided to pick this one and then do so. So now what we are going to do, we're just going to pull up our task manager here. And then we can just see... How much the browsers uh, are doing for in terms of memory and CPU usage? Okay, as we can see here, okay, Microsoft Edge is using a little bit more memory, but uh, I must mention that it also have the browser with a lot of plugins. So I can see Google Chrome is very very low. So then Firefox, so just uh, uh, under 800 megabyte there. So Google Chrome still the browser using less RAM. So, okay, now we are done with that. We are going to move on to uh, to to the ten eighty p. So so far I'm muting everything because I don't want all these things playing. But so far, um. I think uh, 720 is smooth on all of them, so I don't see any uh, struggle so far. 
So, but I think the struggle is going to be coming in when I'm going to play both four resolution, uh, uh, I mean, five resolution in all browsers at the same time, I'm going to open all of them. So, now that we are done with that, I'm going to go and open the 1080p. So, the 720 is playing smoothly in all, so there's no need for. So now I'm going to make sure that it's 1080p. Ah, the good thing this one, I was able to get this one, its highest resolution is 1080p. So, which is good. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, okay, which browser did I miss this one? Okay, make sure that it's 1080p. Okay, I think we are both at HD on both. Yes, we are. So, so far, I don't see any stuttering or anything. They are both playing fine here. Uh, and I'm going to go back on my task manager. And one thing that I, I want to check is I'm going to perform, go to the performance tab here, and then I'm going to go to the Ethernet. So you can see that the, so the usage uh, received 5 megabyte per second, 19 megabyte per second. So this is, but yeah, 1080p is not really drawing that much. So it's fine. So this is what we are going to be checking the download, which is the receive. So uh, because it's what is going to be used when we are streaming something. So now to see how much resources is being used, I can see that uh, now that we are playing a 1080p video, uh, the memory on both has gone up a bit. So so Microsoft Edge doing good actually. So considering it has more plugins than the other, so Firefox is already starting to lead uh, the way here with uh, more memory usage and uh chrome still just under 500 megabyte so 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 far 1080p everything is smooth no stuttering and no on or both browsers so so far every the handling is good now let's move on to the quad hd or 1440p so we're going to copy that but now we'll go, I'm just going to paste in, I'm going to select uh, 1440p, so go here, paste that, this is a, uh, so I'm going to select 1440 There's this there. Then we have uh, 1440. Okay, now that I have both 1440 on both of the three browsers, so as you can see, just to confirm for you guys, 1440, 1440. So that's uh, we had 1440 and then 1440. Okay. Now I can see I can see the clarity on both of these. You can clearly see that. Uh, oh, I see. I see. I have. Uh, I'm just going to be default view. I don't want any just default view on everything. Okay. So. Okay, so I think uh, this is uh, Marcus Brownie is doing the like Apple Vision Pro. So this was just post, uh, posted 20 hours ago. Okay, now we have 1440p and still 1440p is playing smooth on both. Okay, let's see, I see, was that stuttering or just because, okay, it's smooth playing, smooth playing, smooth playing, smooth playing on both browsers. 
So, so far 1440p, nothing. Now let, let's go and see how the internet performance is doing. Okay, I can see we are now at, uh, at what? So the internet usage has gone up a little bit because just look at the graph here, it definitely has gone up. So, so, okay, but uh, that is expected as uh, every resolution, of course, uh, require a bit more of the uh, uh, bit width. So, or band width. I mean, so, so now the other thing that I need to do, we go back here uh, and you can see that the memory has actually gone up considerably. Let's just go here. So let's look at this. So, and the GPU is actually being used a, a bit now, especially by Microsoft Edge. So. But uh, looking at, uh, at the RAM usage, Firefox has taken the lead clearly. It's over a gigabyte now, just on 1440. So 1440p. So, and then Microsoft Edge second, just under 900 megabyte. Uh, Google Chrome still just, even at 1440, Google Chrome is just at uh, 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 under 500 megabytes. Now that's very impressive. I would expect it to be at least over 500 megabytes by now. So still 1440p Google Chrome. So this already is telling me that Google Chrome is superly uh, optimized. Uh, just to sum up with 1440p, Google Chrome still very optimized um, using less resources than all the other browsers. Firefox is very, very, very higher up on the list. Now let's move on to the 4K. Now this is where things are going to start getting interesting now. So start this paste 4K. I'm gonna make, okay, let me just first uh, paste everything. Okay, I think this is Jerry Rig everything. So we are going to go to 4K specifically for this test. Okay. Okay, I can already see that things have started becoming more interesting because uh, now it's going to use, I can even see like uh, the fan has started, uh, you can hear the fan has started uh, spinning a little bit and I can already <laughs> see that uh, it's, uh, it's already on some browsers, especially Firefox, Google Chrome and, and, uh, and what are fine, but uh, Firefox is actually having a hard time just loading. I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Just load, please. We have a test to do. 4K. Okay. Now everything is playing 4K. Now let's see. Okay. So, uh, okay, at least uh, now uh, Google Chrome has gone over the 500 megabyte. It's now just under 600 megabyte. And uh, Firefox is uh, over a thousand now, 1,100 megabyte. I mean, one gigabyte, uh, 100 megabyte. And uh, Microsoft Edge still, I'm impressed. It's still just under uh a gig under 800 megabyte actually even with that so but now let's see how everything is going
everything is going. Okay, uh, okay, I see yes, no one is really stuttering, the loading is fine. So, I mean, this is also putting my internet to the test. So, it's, uh, actually, it's, uh, it's not bad. And I thought my internet won't even handle 3, 4K video playing at the same time, but it's doing actually fine. So, but I can, I can see if I look here, uh, the, the internet usage has really gone up. It's like almost 25 megabyte, 20 megabyte average per second now, at least for on both. So, okay. And then if I would go at performance, just look at the, the graph. You can clearly see that now the internet usage has gone up, which is expected, of course, it's 4K. I'm not surprised. So just look 20, let's say average is 25 megabyte. So per second of internet uh, usage or bandwidth. Uh, so yes, that's expected. No surprise there. No surprise there. But still, we can conclude that the Google Chrome using, okay, now Google Chrome is a bit over 600 megabyte. Firefox leading the way over a gigabyte, Microsoft Edge just under a gigabyte, and that's it, 4K. Now we are done with Jerry Rig, everything, doing the 4K test. Now we are, what we are going to do, we are going to play 8K. Now this is where things are going to start getting very interesting. Now this is where it's going to start to be very, very interesting. So now let's see. Copy, paste that there, paste that there, paste that there. Now this is the full 8K, we are going to say 8K. Sorry guys. 8K, 8K, woohoo, I'm very surprised that uh, it's actually loading, I didn't expect to load, okay, I think there's a little bit of stutter, oh, am I wrong, yep, this is definitely going to be tough. This is definitely going to be a tough exercise to play, to stream 8K times three. Yep, this is definitely, so look at the details of that, is that a Jaguar? Now this is a test and I can already see here that Microsoft uh, Firefox now remember that Firefox, even in the previous one, Firefox uh, was the one that was struggling to, 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 to load. So I can even now it's the one it start it struggled to load. Uh, mm, what? Four K was the the last to actually load. Uh, four K and here it's a, it's the same thing again. It's the same thing here. But it's uh, like uh, Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome are playing so fine. Even when I expected everything to be there. Okay, now. Okay, now let's go and check the details before. You, ho, ho, we can see that definitely things have gone up. Firefox has gone over one point over a, a, a gigabyte and a half. 1.5 gigabyte now. It's over one gigabyte and 500 megabyte google chrome guys I, google chrome keep surprising me how optimized and and how it uses less system resources whether it's a mem or ram or just cpu usage you see here so it's uh, how optimizes google chrome really and then microsoft edge is just over a gigabyte so yeah, 
So clearly, everything, uh, uh, Firefox is, uses a lot of resources. Then just followed a little bit by, just followed by Microsoft Edge, and then Google Chrome is still the winner here. So far, uses less resources, just seek under 700 megabyte of memory usage for 4K streaming. Let me just make sure that everything is still playing and, and doing good. So yes, everything is playing. And I'm pretty sure if you were to check about uh, the in the bandwidth, yo, look at that. Considerably in uh, uh, internet usage has gone up and it's like 40 megabyte average now. Megabyte per second internet usage or download. So, but that's expected, of course, playing 8K times 3 or streaming 3 8K video at the same time. And, uh, but, so one thing that I noticed that I thought uh, my internet isn't so good, but the fact that it can play 3 8K video at the same time, okay, I guess I, sh I, I was being a little bit unfair and ungrateful. If the, this internet can do this, it's not too, so bad as I hoped. Sure, 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 sure. Because I expected it to be very struggling from 4K, like serious struggling. But if it can stream three, uh, uh, eight uh, times three, 8K at the same time, it's very good. I can see that the internet users has gone up considerably. So as expected, but, and I can see memory RAM usage has also gone up. Now the system is using almost 14 gigabyte of RAM. And then looking at the, at the CPU, so it's uh, just under 20 percentage of CPU usage. So, uh, so but this is a, a, a CPU that can handle this task. It's a i9-10900K, so 20 logical processor. So that's very, not a problem the multitasking so now let's go in again now that uh, it's been playing for quite some time just to test to make sure that everything is playing so it's playing but on some it's loading but I've, I've seen one thing I've learned from this video is that uh, Mozilla Firefox isn't the, the, the perfect streaming browser because of all the browsers so far it's been the uh, the one struggling a bit or so Google Chrome, I mean, this is Microsoft Edge and still, and you can see that the, the loading is actually a bit higher up. And then also on Microsoft, uh, I mean, on Google Chrome, but on Firefox, Firefox is actually the one that is, it's, 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 I've noticed that the, it takes sort of, is like take a bit of time to load something like because uh, it started it's 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 the only browser that i have to reload for 4k and 8k so this is already giving me a sign that uh, i don't think it's the best so if i were to to look at this i think the best streaming browser have to be between google chrome and uh, and microsoft edge so microsoft Edge, and if we look at the uh, at what at the at the resources usage again now i can see that the google chrome has now crossed the 900 mb but now it's gone down i guess it's because i i uh, it's sort of like once you are no longer using the browser it sort of goes down like let me do this let me go to google chrome and and see yeah now it goes up so the moment and i think Google Chrome is optimized that when you are no longer using it, it sort of prioritizes RAM. Like it, because uh, the moment I bring up another browser on top, just look what happened. It, it, it sort of goes down. Just look that it's going down in the RAM usage. But uh, Mozilla Firefox is very constant. It's like the RAM is just around 1 gigabyte 500 MB. So, and Microsoft Edge is just around uh, one, one gigabyte, 200 megabyte. So, so this make uh, Google Chrome 
the most, without any doubt, the most optimized browser. The way it just sort of prioritize RAM usages. It's, 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 it's so good. Okay, guys, now we have it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open all the resolution now in all the browsers. So um, I think, and this, I know it's going to be hard for the internet. I'm not going to do this to test the uh the uh, uh i'm not going to because i know it's not going to be fair to say that uh they some video are struggling because i expect it to struggle already because of the of the what of the so let me see if i can open this tree okay let me just do this i'm going to open all the other resolution so now that we are on 4k i'm going to open the this then open this then open this and then open this there's a reason why I'm doing that in sequence there. So copy and then paste. There should be five browser open. Okay, now the first one is 720, of course. I'm going to try to bring it there. Then 1080. Then 1440. and then 4k i'm just going to okay now we are going to go to to the other browsers we are now in then i'm i'm going to open other tabs as well talking with fork since the 8k is already open i'm going to open this and go through Open everything. Copy, paste that there. Then 720 copy. Okay, do this. Okay, then again. Okay, just wanted to make sure that uh, maybe it doesn't change everything or the tab just to that resolution that I'm set 1080 1440 and then 4K. Okay, now that's done. We go to Microsoft Edge, open, copy the 4K link, paste it. In 40, paste that. Copy that. Copy. Okay, now I'm just going to set each one on the correct resolution, 720, 1080, this is playing 4K, you're kidding me, 1440, and then 4K, okay. So now we have everything open. Hey, 8K is still playing. <laughs> I'm very surprised. I think I didn't give my uh, internet much respect. 
Yeah, and I can already tell that uh, Mozilla Firefox will be the most struggling browser I can already see here that it's not loading some of the other it's already having a hard time loading okay okay then let's go to Chrome 8k is still there let's do this let's do this let's do this I'm very surprised that the Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome they don't give me any trouble at all so but the main reason for this test is not to test see that CPU usage has gone up by 10 percentage so okay now let's see yo the reason for for me opening all the five resolution on both browsers is just to see how much resources will, will be will all the browser be using at this moment so or at this stage and uh, again, our boy mozilla firefox is on top <laughs> he has even mozilla firefox has crossed the two the two gigabyte uh, mark now it's over two gigabyte of memory usage now one gigabyte i mean two gigabyte 100 mb and and google chrome again is still the least just uh one gigabyte and 300 megabyte of memory usage with five of those video and five resolution so and then firefox again just under one gigabyte 600 mb so guys as we can see here okay before i go and make the the conclusion let me just go and performance and check now the internet yo 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 yo, yo. the bandwidth has considerably gone up now i think the whole uh internet capacity is now being used and i realized that my whole life i've never used this ever this is for the first time the internet is actually being used like because i'm using a, a, a 50 megabyte uh that's the highest uh, i can my uh internet can do but if you can see everything is still playing mostly i'm very surprised you know one thing that i've just realized is that uh, i never gave uh, had internet uh have much respect for my internet at all i mean if it can now this i was already uh thinking it will have a hard time playing 4k just 4k on both browser but it proved me wrong it played everything it was only firefox that does. i had to refresh to to load i mean reload the page but it's fine if i go to it now even 8k is still playing i'm very surprised i'm surprised here so i'm i'm really 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 surprised now i want to see how much so i'm going to go to still google chrome is is the best uh is the best and most optimized browser without any question it wins hands down clear followed by microsoft edge and then firefox is the last of the uh when it comes to optimization so among the three browser google chrome was uh, microsoft edge and firefox repeating again just for clarity and for everybody there to get it google chrome is the most optimized browsers followed by microsoft edge and then mozilla firefox is the last i mean google chrome i'm right now at this stage i'm playing five tabs i have five tabs open on both browsers and each and the, on those browser there's a 7 720 video 1080 video 1440 video 4k video and an 8k video playing simultaneously at the moment on those on both browser and the fact that google chrome and just crossed a gigabyte it's just using one gigabyte and 400 megabyte uh, of memory usage it's it's actually it's very impressive so microsoft edge 
is using just one gigabyte and 800 megabyte of memory usage, just under eight, one gigabyte and 800 megabyte memory usage. And then Firefox is the only browser that is, has crossed the two gigabyte memory mark. So it's using two gigabyte and 700 megabyte of memory when all that is open. So that's the conclusion that uh, Microsoft, uh, Google Chrome is the most optimized followed by Microsoft Edge and then Firefox come last in these three browser. So there we have it. I hope uh, I wasn't too, uh, I didn't talk too much and I was very clear in as I was, and I didn't have anything mixed up. So that's it. I hope uh, we all enjoyed this and thank you for watching.